I've been using this homemade push stick that came with my saw when I bought it for about the last 10 years. It works well and feels good in the hand, but time and saw teeth have taken their toll. The bottom is all eaten up and the hook on the back is nigh unto non-existent. It's definitely time for a new one and I decided I wanted to play around with my own design. I started by skip planing a couple of walnut scraps and squaring up two edges. I made a template out of some MDF so I could refine the shape of the handle before I started cutting into the pretty stuff. I liked the look and feel of the handle on my Veritas crosscut saw and decided to use it as a template to trace for the handle on my push stick. Cut out the template on my cheap piece of I, I mean my Ryobi bandsaw. It works okay on straight cuts, but is terrible on curves because of the mostly imaginary blade guides. I almost knocked the blade off the saw a couple of times. After the bandsaw, I took it to the spindle sander to smooth it out and refine the shape. I don't know what grit this paper used to be, but it isn't that anymore. I'm overdue for some new ones. After I got the shape where I wanted it, I traced it out on my walnut and did the cutting and sanding process all over again. I cut the bulk of a sliding dovetail away with a spiral straight bit, link in the description, wink wink, so the dovetail bit doesn't have to work so hard. I'll use it to attach a sacrificial bottom piece that I can replace if it ever gets too chewed up. It's a stopped dovetail so the bottom won't just push off the handle in use. I do the same thing to the adjustable hook on the back. After sizing the dovetail on some scrap, I cut it on the actual piece. I also cut one on the end of the piece using some scrap to clamp to a support so the board hook part thingy has a way to attach. I cut the back at an arbitrary angle I drew on using the eh, that looks fine method. Then I treated the edges on the handle and top parts with a 3 8 inch round over bit. I had the wacky idea of making the hook on the back self-adjusting by using a wood spring to apply downward pressure on it so it would work on any board thickness. After the first test spring broke, I added a small relief cut to it so it wouldn't bend quite as sharply. Because it was a stopped dovetail, I couldn't flip it in for end on the router table to make sure it was perfectly centered. I got it very close, but still needed to flush the two parts with the sander. I took this maple strip from another project that I thought would make a good spring, or at least a pretty spring, sanded the end to fit the saw curve and marked the length I needed. I cut it off with the same saw I used for the handle design, both because it was there and because I didn't want to get out the crosscut sled just to cut this tiny piece. Here you can see how it all fits together. If I remove the spring, the board hook is free to slide up and off. Once that's off, the bottom is free to slide forward. 
There was a little slop in my dovetail setup and I had to shim it slightly with some tape to make it as tight as I wanted. But hey, it is just a prototype after all. You can also see where I cut the dovetail back to match the stock slot. Then just reverse the process to put it all back together. Here you can see how it adjusts to accommodate stock of any thickness. So is this the best push stick in the world? Nah, probably not, but I think it's a neat concept that can only get better through further refinement. If you enjoyed my crazy take on the trusty push stick, or at least enjoyed watching me try to build it, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see if I ever actually get any good at this. And until next time, thanks for watching.